Hey guys, Robin here, and welcome to um, the first Wednesday movie review in quite a while. Um, today's movie um, is <clears throat> today's movie is a uh, family slash children's film from 1975. Um, that movie is the mystery of the that movie is the mystery of the million dollar hockey puck. You can't see the title very well, but uh, in case you can't see the title there, it's like on the side. Yeah, so, um, this is, uh, one of, this is, uh, this is probably the most obscure movie that I've ever reviewed because at the time of this filming, March 4th, 2020, this movie has only 50 ratings on, this movie has only 50 ratings and two reviews on IMDb. Now the movie is about um, <clears throat> is about a French Canadian orphan named Pierre, which is which is the most unoriginal and cliche French name that you can give a that you can give a character. Um, who? <laughs> Who, upon visiting a florist for reasons that I don't really care to remember, he he finds out about a plot to smuggle a million dollars worth of diamonds inside of a hollowed out hockey puck. I'm not really sure if you can fit a million dollars worth of diamonds into into a regulation sized hockey puck, but I. But I'm not a jeweler, so. And uh, speaking, um, I'll, um, but there is a jeweler in this movie. Um, I'll come back to him a little bit later. Um, now, now this, now, um, Pierre is played by Michael. It's played by Michael McDonald, which, according to IMDb, is the same Mike McDonald. As the as the late Canadian comedian who passed away in 2018, but I highly doubt that because if it actually is because if, if it, it actually is that Mike McDonald playing Pierre, then he looked and sounded really young for someone who would have been 21 at the time. Now, uh, yeah. Now, okay, now, it also follows his sister, his, his sister Kato, um, as they try to foil the plan, um, in a bit of comedic relief, um, the, <coughs> the florist assistant who transports the hockey puck, um, even even though he works in a, even though he, <clears throat> he works in a flower shop, even though he apparently has allergies, even though he's apparently allergic to, allergic to flowers, because allergies are just so hysterical, am I right? Anyway... <laughs> Anyway, so they sneak into, they stole away in the flower shop's van, but once they find out, they escape, and a pilot in a rundown rickety old plane flies them to Montreal, where they go into a jeweler's shop, and Pierre says the code phrase to the jeweler who who at first pretty much says ha 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 go away kid we all love hockey but when when pierre repeats himself the jeweler gets a hint and like oh well how how smart of them is that that they send a couple of kids ha so genius <clears throat> and by the way um the florist is played by fred Doderline. I probably did, didn't pronounce that right. Who is uh, the same man that played Dr. Hobbs in the beginning? Who played Dr. Hobbs 
in the beginning of my second of my second most favorite Canadian film, Shivers. <clears throat> in fact, uh, he looks exactly the the same beard and all, be which which isn't too much of a surprise because 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 Mystery of the Million Dollar Hockey Park and Shivers were both made and were both made and released in 1975. So, it's kind of odd. Now, I don't know uh, which movie came out first that year, because because there is, like, a definitive date for Shivers. Well, actually, um, actually, uh, damn it, I, I forget, like, what the, the date that Shivers, um, I, I forgot the date that Shivers came out. One minute. Okay, um, and I'm back, um, okay, so I did, um, a, a little, a little bit of research, um, turns out that Shivers came out first, um, on October 10th, 1975, and Mystery of the Million Dollar Hockey Park came out on Christmas Day, so there's that, so I mean, like, so Fred Dolderline basically went from starting a sexual apocalypse to starring in a kids movie which is which is kind of funny because well anyways um so back back to hockey park um so they sneak into i assume a props and costumes warehouse where the woman behind all of this is is addressing her associate and she's wearing like this really odd mask and the kids manage to uh, get a hold of the hockey puck and during a chase and during a chase um which if I remember correctly leads them into the rafters above a Montreal Canadiens hockey game you can kind of like yeah oh and uh here's a better look at the other thing please. yeah here's the movie's poster which that's like a generic cartoon silhouette of a bad guy. Um, kind of a picture of of our stars and just um what I'm gonna assume is just a bunch of like random stock images they were able to find. And then this in the this here. Yeah, and there's the cast name. Yes, yeah, so, so anyways, um the pocket is dropped onto the ice and and the game starts now. Now, now I'm not gonna like spoil the ending. Be ending for those of you that wish to see this, partially because I haven't seen the ending. And um, and um, yeah, that's there's not really really like a whole lot to say about this movie. It's pretty obscure, and um, I'm pretty sure th this might be the only uh, home video release of the movie by. Astro video um, According, I don't know what these numbers are right there um, Yeah, it's by Astro video which released quite a handful of uh, Canadian of Canadian made films back in the early 80s movies such as um, this one high risk uh, when movies such as this So they were hockey park as well as um, high risk. Um, they also uh, re they also released shivers on this format. Um, they also released a, a, a 1977 romantic comedy called Love at First Sight, which was which was Dan Aykroyd's film debut, which apparently is a flop. But but knowing but not a, everyone strikes gold first time. Now, um, now, uh, now, Astral, uh, now, there is, um, like, another, like, home video VHS company today that releases movies in limited, like, quantity called, called it Shivers Entertainment, and, um, I don't have, like, one of the Shivers Entertainment things yet, but... But it looks incredibly similar to this kind of label. The only difference is in, instead of Astral, it said Shivers. 
So, yeah, um, I'm going to include a link in this video description to the best quality copy of Mystery of the Million Dollar Hockey Puck I can find. But just, just be warned, um, since the actors are kids, since our main stars are kids, their acting is uh, pretty bad. So you, you might need a little, a little of the old Mary Jane to get through this, or some beer. And while you're and um and while you're at it, just uh put shivers on. So uh yeah, just um so um I would um only watch this movie um it, if you 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 have kids that are like um that are young enough to not to not pick up on bad acting um yeah so um yeah so. I guess give this a watch, um, if you have kids, if you have nothing better to do, um, or if you're, like, a big fan of espionage and hockey movies and such, so, um, that's all, all I gotta say, so, peace. Oh, wait, um, th thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all soon in the, in, in the near future. Peace.